Good evening, Southeast Texas, looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies across the area. This view over at LaBerge Casino Resort, part of the Roofing 911 SkyCam Network. Complicated forecast coming up tomorrow. I'll show you why in just a second. We'll go with a 50% coverage across the triangle, 60% in the lakes area, and we'll keep scattered showers and storms on Friday and Saturday, if we've had for since earlier this week. Dry weather Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and really for next week. Otherwise, uh, looking at just leftover cloudiness from thunderstorms earlier today, and uh, current weather watcher numbers, we're at 80 in Port Arthur. MJ is at 81. It's currently 81 in Orange, further to the north. 77 in Woodville, courtesy of Travis Smith, and uh, that's what Jim has in uh, Warren. Uh, currently 75 into uh, Jasper. Temperatures very warm and humid in South and Central Texas in the 70s and 80s. But look at this front. Temperatures are into the 50s up into Northwest Texas at this time. That's as much as 20 to 25, almost 30 degrees colder up that way. No, we're not going to see that. But we will see the potential for a better chance of rain and thunderstorms coming up tomorrow as this front moves closer to our area. Otherwise, in the tropics, uh, it has now gone up to an 80% probability as this uh, system moves off into the Northwest Caribbean. Again, tracking on over towards Florida, well south of our area. Otherwise, tomorrow's a headache, and I'm extremely frustrated as far as the forecast tomorrow. Welcome to my world. I'm going to show you five different models back to back to back to back, and you're going to see five different scenarios on what could happen. It's called uncertainty. Do I know what's exactly going to happen tomorrow? It'll be a surprise to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to blend these models because of the uncertainty in the forecast. I've already shown this and it shows probably 80, 90, 100 percent coverage coming up tomorrow if it's right. Then we've got another model. It's called the NAM. It shows maybe a 30 percent coverage. Then we've got another model called the graph and this shows about a 40 to 50 percent coverage. Then we've got the GFS. It doesn't show much of anything tomorrow, maybe a 10 to 20 percent coverage. Then we've got the Euro. It shows widespread shower and thunderstorm activity. I can't tell you which one is going to win, but what I can say is that there's a pretty good chance. We'll just blend them together and see how it plays out tomorrow. With that 40 to 50, maybe 60 percent coverage, it may be less than what I have. It may be twice as much as what I have. On the Gulf of Mexico, yes, I'm frustrated. Slightly choppy seas tomorrow around 2 to 3 feet in your coastal marine forecast. We'll see southeast winds at 5 to 15 knots. Our forecast tonight, partly to mostly cloudy, lows in the 70s, warm and humid. At this point, a 50 to 60 percent coverage. Highs around 90, 91 tomorrow, and that gives us a yellow bar day. Scattered showers and storms coming up on Friday and more on Saturday as that front finally lifts back to the north as a warm front. Sunday through next week looks hot, humid and dry and hotter by next Wednesday.